What do you do with the leftover money? Hey guys, how you doing? Feel so silly when I ask questions like that because I know you can't answer me, but I really do feel like I'm talking to y'all as like a friend. So yeah, forgive me if I'm a little awkward. I got an email from Alfred Sanchez and I wanted to talk to y'all about what he asked me because I've gotten this question several times and now, while this is just my opinion, I wanted to let y'all what I was, I wanted to let you all know what I was thinking. <laughs> I'm having issues today. I'm in Melina's room um, because Mauricio has the flu and he's in his study trying to do homework and he's grumpy and I'm staying away and my lights are in there so I couldn't film in my bedroom. So welcome to Marini Melina's room. Alfred Sanchez asked me, Wendy, I have a question about budgeting. In my budget, I have a gas for the car category this month, but I didn't use all the money in that category. So I was wondering, should I take it out for this month and leave it? Or should I put more money toward it for next month? Alfred, I'm assuming that you're talking about cash envelopes. And I will tell you for gas, we actually budget electronically. So my answer for this might be a little different than somebody who budget budgets for cash. So if any of y'all budget for cash, leave Alfred a comment down below and let him know what you do in, in your various categories that, that you use the cash envelope system for. Here's my philosophy. If you have money left over, let's say you budget $100 and you only spend 80. If you have $20 left over and you take $80 out of the budget for next month rather than 100, you still have $20 left over. So if you take that original $20 and put it back into the pile and divvy it up again, it doesn't really matter because Ultimately, you're going to have $20 left over. If you use that as your basis for how to deal with your budget, then really there are two ways that you can deal with it. And ultimately, even in this particular scenario, 90% of the time they're gonna end up the same. So what some people do at the end of the month, they take all of their leftover money, every cent, and this is especially works for people who are electronic budgeters rather than cash budgeters. They take their money left over and immediately put it towards debt. So at the end of the month, at the very last day of the month, you know you're not gonna spend another cent, your bank has already gone through, they take that amount left over and they apply it to their their debt, the debt that they're focusing on in the debt snowball. We actually don't do that. And here's why. We take that lump sum and roll it over to the next month's budget as income. What this does is let's say we had $150 left over. We put a line item in the next month's budget that says $150 roll over from March budget because we pay all our money to debt at the beginning of the month. Because we are one month ahead, we know what we're going to be spending at the beginning of the month. We've already earned it, we know exactly how much it is, so we go ahead and put our entire debt payment at the very beginning of the month. And really, whether you do it the last day of the month or the first day of the next month, it's still going to debt. Now, I will reference our um, February budget. When I did my February budget report, I mentioned that we had money left over and we were rolling it into March. And this is where that system works best for us. Because Mauricio is working on an hourly basis right now, sometimes our expenses might exceed what we are bringing in. It's rare, but sometimes they do. And for us, March was potentially going to be one of those months. So we wanted to carry over as much from the February budget into the March budget and put it in there just in case, because we had several large expenses that were going to be coming up in March that we were not sure how much they were gonna cost. So we decided to pile everything in there. And at the end of March, we will be rolling it over to April. And then on the first couple of days of April, we'll be making a large debt payments. Ultimately, it's all going to debt. And it doesn't really, really matter how you deal with it. Because if you're working on a zero-based budget, anything over always goes to debt. So 
That's how we deal with it. I hope this makes sense. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask me and I can go into more depth or I can attempt to explain it better. Make sure you click on my big laughing face so you can subscribe to my channel and I'll put two videos up that you can click on. Go ahead and click on those and keep on watching. I'll see you in the next one. See ya!